Following on from using the if function, which determined whether or not someone had passed or failed, I'd actually like to know what grade they get based on their score. And to do that, I'm actually going to use this table here. It's going to look up this value in this table and give me the grade. There is another one I have as well, which we're going to do something similar, but this time it's going to look up a currency, give us the exchange rate, and tell me how much that is in pound sterling. But let's first do this one here. So basically what it's going to do, it's going to take that score, it's going to look down this list, and the way that it works in this instance is it sees zero, goes down that list, it says, oops, gone too far, it'll drop down and pick up that value there. Therefore, anything from zero to 50, but not including 50, will give us a failed. Anything from 50 to 65, but not including 65, gives us a pass, and so on up to 85, anything above that will give us a high distinction. How does it work? It uses a function called vlookup. So I'm just going to click here to get my insert function. It is a vlookup. There are two types really to use, an hlookup and a vlookup. V for vertical, H for horizontal. As you can see, our data here is vertical. So I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, choose vlookup, click on OK. And up comes my function arguments dialog box. The value that I'm looking up is this one here. I want to then get it to look up in a particular table. So I'm just going to click here, collapse the dialog box, and then going to highlight my table. I now need to tell it which column in that table I'm getting the answer from. There are two columns, as you can see here. That's column one. That's column two, so I just need to type in two. The range lookup determines whether or not, and you can see that information down here, whether it's going to find a close match, which is what we want to do here. I can leave it blank or type in true, or if I type in false, it must be an exact match, and that is what we'll be using for the currency one. I'm just going to click on OK, and there you go, poor Marvin, he's still failed, but you can see if I changed it to 66, He's got a credit. I'm going to copy this down and something isn't quite going to work. Just click and drag that. Something has gone wrong. You'll see here it's showing some error messages, which is not correct. So what I'm going to do is just have a quick look. You'll see here that it's looking up the table F2 to G6. It's taking the value B3. That's correct. If I click here, you'll see it's taking B4. That's that value there. That's correct. F3 to G7, F3 to G7, ah, something's not quite right, the table has moved. I need to lock that table so that it doesn't move, and I do something called absolute referencing. I don't want these rows to change, the, the 2 and the 6 here. So what you do is you put a dollar sign in front of each of those, and it will stop it from copying that down. It's called absolute referencing, as I said. If it was the columns I was interested in stopping from moving, I would use the dollar sign in front of the F and the G. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to copy it down again, overwriting what I had before, and this time you can see it's worked. On this spreadsheet, I've got some currencies here. These are items that have been purchased in those currencies, and I want to convert them all to show them in pounds sterling. There's a table here that has the exchange rates based on those currencies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the VLOOKUP again. So I'm just going to click over here. I'm going to click in my insert function. I'm going to go to my lookup and reference and scroll down again to VLOOKUP and click on OK. And it's the currency here that I'm looking up. So I'm just going to click on that one there, B2. The table array is, again, that table here. So I'm just going to highlight it. I'm just going to expand that out again. And this time I'm going to remember to put in my dollar sign so that the rows don't change when I copy it. Remember that is your absolute referencing. The value that it's going to get is coming from the second column in this table. So I need to type in 2. And because it's got to be an exact match this time, in the range lookup, and it does give me a hint down the bottom here, find an exact match, I need to type in false. It doesn't need to be 
in uppercase, so I just type that in, click on OK, and it has now put that function in there. I'm just going to test that it's taking the correct value. So for pounds, it's got 1, euros is 1.1, US dollars 1.5, that's correct, and Japanese yen 136.35, so that's correct. However, actually what I do want to do is take that value there and divide it by that value there. So I'm just going to go up to my formula, click there, click on this value here, put in the divide, press enter, and again copy it down to overwrite the values I've got, and it is now giving me the value in pounds sterling. So that is your VLOOKUP.